Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Enrique Garcia, and I'm a senior simulation specialist here at Go Engineer. In this quick tips video, we will take a look at how we can ensure that we are viewing and interpreting our qualitative simulation result plots as accurately as possible. This tip applies to any simulation software used as long as the result plots are rendered in the graphics area of SOLIDWORKS. This includes the three main SOLIDWORKS simulation products of SOLIDWORKS Simulation, SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation, and SOLIDWORKS Plastics. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Did you know that the light features that are a part of the SOLIDWORKS environment and scene portion of the SOLIDWORKS CAD file can affect how the colors of a simulation plot are rendered in a result plot? Here's an example of a SOLIDWORKS Plastics fill result plot, and as I slowly rotate the part in the graphics area, we can see that the interfaces of the result plot on the model are showing some shadows and some darker regions. This could potentially cause trouble in interpreting the appropriate level result magnitude when looking at the color bar, or also could mask some more subtle but important result gradient in the rendering of the plot. Here's an exaggerated example of what can truly happen when interpreting simulation results. Shown here is an example of a SOLIDWORKS flow simulation surface temperature plot that is simulating a heat exchanger. If we look at the model in this particular orientation, due to the poor choice in lighting features in the SOLIDWORKS scene, the colors representing the results are dark and muted and hard to interpret. In this particular lighting environment, these result colors could easily be interpreted as an orange or red color, and this could result in you missing a possible problem in the performance of your design. Also, if you look closely at the top of the plate, we can see a very subtle hint of a temperature gradient towards the top of the flat surface of the plate. This could also be easily missed if you're not looking closely. So let me show you how you can easily fix this problem. If I rotate the model, we can see that the shadows on the part change, and we can see a bit more of the color differences now, and more of the temperature gradient on the top of the heated plate. This is still far from ideal, especially if you want to document your results for a report or a design review. For this particular model, this is definitely not enough. To improve the accuracy of the rendering of the result plot, we will increase the amount of ambient light that is a part of the SOLIDWORKS environment of the model. Towards the upper left-hand area of SOLIDWORKS, click on the Display Manager tab, which is a small tab that looks like a beach ball. And directly below that, click on the small icon with a video camera titled View Scene, Lights, and Cameras. This will activate the Scene, Lights, and Cameras property manager. Locate the Lights folder and expand it to show all the light features related to the currently applied SOLIDWORKS scene. Right-click and edit the ambient light feature by clicking Edit Light. In the Ambient Property Manager, take the Ambient Light Magnitude slider bar and move it towards the right of the bar. Depending on other lighting features, anything above 0.8 is usually a good value to sufficiently brighten up most scenes. If you're unsure, you can always increase the slider completely to the right. When you're satisfied with the color response in your result plot in the graphics area, click the green check mark to accept the changes in the Ambient Light Property Manager, and navigate back to your simulation analysis to continue with your interrogation of your plot results. Again, this tip can be used for any simulation result plot rendered in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area for any simulation product. This will also include most third-party or gold partner SOLIDWORKS products, as long as they are rendering or being worked with within the SOLIDWORKS environment. This has been Enrique Garcia with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this quick tips video helpful. If you did, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website at goengineer.com for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Thanks for stopping by. See you on the next one.